I hope you learned how to do a long division with numbers on primary school. If not, watch the first half of this video and practice a bit yourself. In the second half of this video, we will apply the same technique to the division of polynomials. We will use this division in a number of problems, factorization, for example to compute limits and integrals, and later on in the quotient of power series. Fortunately, long division is of polynomials is not difficult. If you know the long division of numbers, because it works exactly the same. So let's look at the long division of numbers first. Suppose you want to compute a, a 992 divided by 8. How do we do that? Well, we write a 992 over here and we divide it by 8. And the result of the division will come here on top. Notice that this is the say international way of writing of denoting this of writing this down uh, other countries uh, use different conventions for example uh, in the netherlands where we are over here uh, we usually re uh, write the result over here on this spot but let, uh, let us follow the uh, uh, convention from the uh, american textbooks and write the result on top so how do you do the long division well, first you look in the first nine over here. How often can you get the eight into that? Well, you can do it only once. So you write down the eight over here and the one over there. And then you subtract and you end up with the one over here. Then you take the nine over here and put it behind the one. So you have a 19. So then you continue. How many times can you uh, get 8 into the 19? Well, you can get that in two times, then you get 16. If you would try it three times to 24, that's too big, so you can get it in two times. Then you get a 16. Again, subtract minus 19 minus 16 equals 3. So you have the 3 over here, and then we have the 2 over there, 32. How many times can you get 32? Uh, 8 into 32, well that's 4 times because 4 times 8 equals 32. So we get a 4 over here and a 32 over there. And we subtract and we get 0 uh, as a remainder. So our result is 992 divided by 8 equals 124 and the remainder is 0. So let's do some other random division to get some feeling for this. Let's try the number 7654 divided by 11. Well, first of all, how many times can you plug 11 into 7? Well, you can't do that, so you continue with the uh, 6, 76. Uh, how many times can you get seven, uh, 11 into 76? Well, you can try 5 times and you have 55, or 6 times 66, or 7 times 77. Oh, that's too much. So uh, six times. So you write a six over here, and six times eleven equals sixty-six over here. So and then you subtract seventy-six minus sixty-six equals ten. Then you take the five from above, and you get one hundred and five. Then one hundred and five divided by eleven. Well, you can get it in nine times. Nine times eleven equals ninety-nine. So that fits six times. Uh, sorry. Uh, 10 times 11 would be 110, which is too much. So we have 9 and a 99 over here. You subtract uh, 105 minus 99 equals 6. You have the 4 over here, 64. So how many times can we get in 11? Well, 6 times 11 equals 66 is too much, but we can do 5. Uh, 5. And then we end up with 55, we subtract, and we have a remainder of 9. So what's the result? Uh, 7654 divided by 11 equals uh, 695, with a remainder of 9 uh, divided by 11. So we, uh, we have, uh, as a result, uh, 695 and 9 Well, you see that uh, this procedure will help you with all uh, divisions of all uh, numbers. 
why this exactly worked uh, 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 is, is more subject of uh, 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 primary school math. We, uh, we would like to continue with the uh, polynomials. For example, if we want to divide x cubed minus 8 by x minus 2. Well, how are we going to simplify that? How are we going to do that? Well, exactly the same way. So we write our x cubed minus 8 over here, and we add 0 times x squared and 0 times x. We are going to uh, order this uh, along uh, powers of x. And we divide by x minus 2, so the x minus 2 is coming over there. Now, now we are going to do exactly the same procedure. How many times can you fit x minus 2 into an x cubed? Well, that works x squared times. So you put the x squared over here. And x squared times x minus 2 equals x cubed minus 2x squared goes over here. And then you subtract. Well, x cubed uh, minus x cubed is equals 0. That was exactly the idea. And 0 times x squared minus minus 2 times x squared equals a 2 times x squared. And then we just continue like we did in the case with the numbers. How many times can I fit x minus 2 into 2x squared? Well, I can do it 2x times. So we put a 2x over here, because then we get a, over here, 2x times x minus 2 equals 2x squared minus 4x. So 2x squared minus 4x. Then the 2x squared cancel out, and uh, you subtract 0x minus minus 4x. So you are left with a 4x, and now we have a minus 8, so 4x minus 8. How many times can you get x minus 2 into? Uh, f uh, 4x minus 8, well, you can do it 4 times. Then you get 4 times x minus 2 equals 4x minus 8. You subtract again and you're left with 0. So, uh, in the end, you end up with x cubed minus 8 divided by x squared minus 2 equals x squared plus 2x plus 4. And always check this because it's quite a long calculation. Then you get the x cubed minus 2x squared plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 4x minus 8. So there we have all the terms, and then we see that these terms cancel out and these terms cancel out. And that's indeed correct. So we did our long division correct. Now what's the relationship between the two? Well, if you divide with polynomials, you divide according to powers of x. If you divide with numbers, you divide by powers of uh, you order with powers of 10. So actually, the long division with numbers is a special case of the long division of polynomials. Uh, you use in the polynomial case x, uh, x and general x, and for the numbers you use as ordering x equals 10. So see what happens if we would plug in, in this case, x equals 10, which we can do because it holds for all x's. Then we get x cubed minus uh, uh, 8 equals 992 uh, divided by x minus 2 equals 8 equals x squared 100 plus 2 times x plus 2 times 10 plus 4, 124, which was exactly the calculation we did over here. And you see that the steps uh, are, are going more or less the same as well, because you have your 992 over here and your 992 over here x minus 2 is equals 8 over here, your 8 over here. Then you start uh, uh, with uh, subtracting uh, x cubed minus 2x squared, so that would be uh, 1000 minus 2 times 100 mi would be 800, which is the 8. Put add zeros over here, so you have here an 800 and here an 800 as well. So you are left with a uh, 2x squared minus 8 over here. So here you are left with uh, 200 minus 8, 192. And you could put a 2 over here. You are left with a 192 as well over here. Then here you have a 2x squared, 2 times 100 minus 1460. And here you have 160 as well. So here you have 160. And then you end up with a 4x minus 8 here, 32. And here 32. And here 32. And here is 32. So you see that the long division 
with the numbers is exactly the same as the long division with the polynomials. Uh, the polynomials are more general. With the polynomials you do it for general x, and with the numbers you do it for x equals 10. But since they, well, the algorithm works exactly the same, it's really convenient if you know already how to do it with the numbers, because then it's a short step to do it with the polynomials. So if you learned in primary school how to do long division with numbers, very good. Uh, if you didn't, too bad. Practice with the numbers first and then continue with the polynomials.